All right, guys, they're playing a Riven top lane into a Sion. One of my favorite matchups right now, actually. Um, as you guys know, like, I've always enjoyed playing against a Jax top lane. And that matchup is, to this day, it's still one of my favorite matchups. But if there's one matchup I really like at the moment, it's definitely got to be the Sion matchup. I think it's my second favorite matchup by far. I'll show you why. So, in short, what we have here, very simple. We've got the Conquer Page, Nibis Cloak, Transcendence, and two Adaptive. I'm planning on um, either going with the Eclipse build this game or the Gorgic build. I'm thinking more about the Eclipse build, actually. An ally has been seen. Getting a pretty early roam by Singed. Hmm. That's a pretty interesting one. Wait, I'll see if I can... Okay. Should not have flanked him. That's bad. Well, you just lost yourself a kill, my man. That was not that was not good. <clears throat> Maybe I could still kill him. Actually, the Q failed, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Actually, I yeah, I, I got hit by the Cyan Q. Okay, let's see if we can shove this in. Well, yeah, he popped in Ghost, so that was his only uh, spell to disengage. He used it because of Singed, and because of that, I was able to re-engage using my Flash, and then sidestepping sounds Q, but even though I got hit by the Q, the plan was still pretty clean, but I should have just flashed earlier. That was my bad. I was thinking, like, should I even flash in the first place? Like, that was going through my mind. Hmm. If I can get my shield back right now, I can actually go for another kill because I got my ignite back. Or not back, I just didn't use it. Oh, that's gonna kill him. Yep. Like I said, I was gonna get the kill. Might die for it now. Yep. Let's force the lane in. Oh, he's got TP. Okay. He actually didn't use the TP. Okay. So, yeah, we're gonna be going with the uh, Eclipse build. Let's do it. I'm gonna build Hydra first. We're gonna be building the stuff that you guys like the most currently. Let's go. <clears throat> oh, yeah, by the way, I uh, want to mention this. Um, something kind of important. I actually found the solution to why my main microphone does not work anymore. I found the problem. Now, unfortunately, it's a problem that I don't know how to fix. But I did find the problem. Um, yeah. I don't know how long it's going to take me to fix my main microphone. I have no idea because I don't know how to fix it. But at least the problem is found. I know what it is. I just have zero experience in it. So, I'm gonna have to do some good research. This is a kill. There you go. Now you can probably imagine like why this matchup is one of my favorite ones. There you go. <laughs> the ward at the end. There you go. And let's go back. We're gonna go for Warhammer. Okay. So, I recently got a lot of... Um, a lot of YouTube comments and people saying like, yeah, like Hydra Eclipse is just better than Gore Drinker and all that stuff. Um, I have been replying to a lot of these comments. Because there's something that people just don't talk about and it's actually so annoying. A lot of people are recommending other Riven players to build the same stuff. Like build Eclipse, build Hydra, build Black Lever. That's all that people are saying right now. It's the only thing that goes through people their mind. 
There's something I want to clarify for the people that take this type of advice. Because, yeah, the build is really good. It's probably one of the best builds right now. But the advice that is given is just bad. Let me explain. Uh, there we go. So, there's people that give advice like, yeah, build Hydra, build Eclipse, and build Black Lever every single game. Now, something that I want to point out to you guys, and it's just annoying to me because it literally makes zero sense what they're saying. Um, need to clarify this. If you build Eclipse and Hydra every single game, you're, you're going to get into games where you're going to lose because of your build. Um, because... Hydra Eclipse, if you built that into a Renekton, you're losing. Like, good luck, have fun. Renekton is going to burst you instantly. You're dead. Um, Hydra Eclipse into a Malphite, good luck, have fun. You're dead. Like, you, you can't build... The, it's, I know it's the best build currently. It certainly is, I agree. But you can't build that stuff into a Malphite, into a Ren Renekton, into, you know, an Orn or something like that. You can't technically, but it's it's a really bad idea. So, I still encourage people to be building Gorjink in some matchups, okay? Like, I've seen way too many people talking about that build, but they just don't provide the information to the other people about this. They, they don't talk about when the build is bad. This is weird to me. I hope that clarifies it a little bit. There you go. I'll deny him. Let's uh, take the wave and then we shove. Nice. grab this wave that probably i'm gonna try getting plates right now because we've got the uh, the team and the warhammer we don't have to go back yet we will try and get hydra like as soon as possible so we can stack it up and and get even more fed with it hmm. rest for ultimate this scion is very interesting because this guy is applying so much pressure in this matchup it's actually kind of crazy Nice one. And he's getting low again. Very interesting Scion player, honestly. Tries extremely hard. Actually, I'm going to stay around. Because I think that Scion is going to walk up. Yeah, it's going to walk up. Those time plays are the most interesting because they play so aggressive. Nice, got him again. This is what most time plays do. We shove again, and just like that, let's go back. Actually, yeah, I think he's got TP. I'm going to go back for sure. Pretty sure he uh, probably has it. Yep, I'm glad I did. Because it turns out that he went for the TP, so he's going to try and force another plate. Scion players are very predictable if you play against them a lot. I I've seen way too many Scion players. Like, I understand what Scion strategy is all about it's all about pushing getting plates and just keep on forcing so you don't have space to go other lanes this is what scion is doing all the time it's got only one job but like just keep on pushing keep on dying there you go 
Not necessarily a too fun way of playing against. I prefer the silent players who play more <laughs> macro wise, if that makes sense. <laughs> This is more like the inting strategy of Scion, which I don't like because it removes lane interaction and pretty much anything at all. Because they just walk in lane, they can, they die and they get plates. It's it's all they're doing. But fortunately, like there are ways to counter this. We're we're going to be applying the same strategy that Scion is doing. Uh, to our own gameplay, and then he won't be able to get anything done at all. That's what I'm aiming for. You see? Cyan is going for the wave there. So I'm going for the jungle cams, and that's going to give me a lead. Plus, Cyan is unable to get plates anymore. That's how you deal with a Cyan doing this, like, tank Cyan inting strategy. You just have to play smart around it. And just like that, we have maybe even kill here. Nice. Preventing him from getting blue buff. That's pretty good. Sire is still farming there, which is good for him. Like, But it doesn't get him anything anymore. And just like that, we have another wave. Let's go back here. Long sword and crunch award. Okay, now let's see if we can actually make some progress this, this game. Uh, yeah, Sion again is doing the same inting strategy. That's not changing. There you go, just taking that stuff. We're immediately gonna rotate back top lane. Let's see what's going on here. We're not losing anything, only like half of the wave, which is definitely worth it here. So again, like Scion matchup, um, the inting strategy from Scion is extremely annoying to play against for many people. But again, like the way how you counter that is just by doing the same strategy in a safe way. So you continuously push top lane, you get the wave, you get the jungle cams, and you're basically doing it on the opposite side of where Siren is. And that way you can rotate mid lane, make plays, go for backports, and he won't be getting towers or anything like that because there is no way for him to play around with. If Siren has no wave, then or you're staying in the lane and this far, like, there's not much you can do anymore. I think I'm gonna see if I can dive him. Oh. Exhaust? That's interesting. Huh. Exhaust, okay. We don't see that very often. Um, maybe like a bit more. I could start building two Black Leaf already. Just take like two Long Swords for damage. Now, um,. Yeah, again, like this is something that many people don't talk about. You have Hydra and Eclipse, but you see the problem now. We're like 60 minutes in the game, eight kills, good farm. Everything looks good, really good, but we're very, very easy to kill. Like you're built like an assassin without lethality, basically. Oh man, Cyan inting strategy is pretty stupid to play against still. 
but it works because mid lane was the completely like unprotected. Okay. Uh, we're basically two versus two. Cancel the Herald, nice. Let's see if we can grab like... Oh, Sion is now doing the inting strategy on bar lane. Okay. Yeah, that team fight's not gonna work out. Well, my teammates are losing a little bit too hard this game. Let's go for Eclipse. It's going to be a pretty tough match because Balan is struggling a, a little a bit. So we're going to have to find out a way to carry this game. Yeah, again, Sion is going for the inting strategy. Yep. Then he dies for another tower. Yeah. I'm quite surprised that they haven't gone for the Drake yet. Well, the CC is ridiculous. Huh. Quadra. Nice. Ah, I'll take that. <laughs> Let's see. I got like 2.4k, so I'm just gonna get my Black Leaper and then I'm happy. Need a little bit more. There you go. I also have my flashlight coming up in like 40. Nice. I actually did not check this out. I'm very curious. Maybe I can ask you guys. I don't know. I um, remember when Yumi was like a 40% win rate. And now she received this small rework or big rework. I don't know how you call it. I think it's a completely different... I feel like it's a completely different gem now. I wonder, what is the win rate from... Um, what is Yumi's win rate right now after the rework? Do you guys know? Do you guys have like any idea? I don't know if Yumi is bad or good right now. I've, I've legit got no clue. I've been super lazy with checking the win rate from Yumi. <laughs> I have no idea. You guys say 54%? Okay. Well, I believe you guys. Well, that was fun. Not sure what kept him there for so long. Could not burst them. Should have just used my ice shield for the passive. Would have been probably better. I think I'm gonna go for Grudge and Death Stance final item because we need more damage to kill Sion. Otherwise, he's just gonna tank us late game and then take tower still. So. Got it. Hmm. Nah, not good. Can't tell in. 
too hard to do. Zion is going for the inting strategy again. Going bot lane for plates. So yeah. This is only possible because my teammates are losing, by the way. This is the only reason why it works. The, the, like, if my bot lane and mid lane were winning, Scion would never be able to get this close to my towers each time. Like, believe me on it. If I, if I abandon my team, they will lose. 100%. Like, there's no doubting it. So I, I keep having to stop splitting to make a play because if I don't, they will get caught and then we lose. That's why this game is so annoying and why we have to rely on... on, on uh, yeah. There's someone else here. Nice. Again, like Sion is splitting a uh, top lane because my teammates cannot fight Sion. And I can't rotate now because I just killed like two people. I'm just going to see if I can make it here. Nah, never mind. I wish that I had teammates that could prevent Sion from playing this side lane strategy, like the inting strategy, but it's just not possible. As you can see, they can't stop him. He Look, he's just going to go for another tower. These guys just have no damage. Check this out. Look how long it's going to take them. Uh, Cadence auto attacks are basically non-existent. This is why I'm struggling, literally. The only reason. Zero eleven Scion, and it's actually... Actually functioning like this. I'll try something out. Wait. Sign is spawning in like 10 seconds again, so you know what's gonna happen. There you go. Okay, I need to predict where Sion is going to go because he will be inting again for another tower. I just don't know where he's going. We'll find out. Let's see where he's going. He's going mid lane. Okay. That's really good. If Sion is mid lane, then that means I can do whatever I want because he's not pressuring any lane. Good. Now we need to run mid lane and go for a team fight because Sion is dead. He can't do anything. Whoops. The, the time period where Sion is inting is when you have to do something. Got like two kills again. And Sion is going for a TP again. I just hate this strategy. I love playing against Sion, but I just hate it when people play like that. I truly do. That's the only thing I don't like about Sion. I love playing against it again, but this strategy is just not fun to play against at all. <clears throat> 
He's got no ghosts, so we outrun him. Oh? Living for surrender, okay. Hey, either way, this is Riven top lane against the inting, pretty broken inting strategy. Thanks so much for watching this YouTube video, and I'll see you next time. Peace.